maybe it's a bit now like in the beginning, like, oh, wow, no, before it was so nice to just not sing, <laughs> to just, you know, do your steps to release. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now Steve told us so many things to take care for. It's a stress now, the step, yeah. <laughs> but this, <laughs> um, this you need to understand a bit. It's it's like you have to see it like if we I don't know train with weights. Yeah, very simple examples. You add weights, and of course it's more stress for your body, but you put another challenge onto you to widen your range. Yeah, in muscle training maybe it's how much force I can develop with my muscle. Here it's about awareness. Yeah, how much awareness I can bring in my body and how I can find different aspects again of myself. Yeah, because this release stepping is released, but maybe there are things I didn't consider yet or didn't see yet because it feels normal to my body to have tension there. So I don't see this tension in my body. By putting you now and giving you this all this task to look at and to work with, yeah, and this this concept for the head in first at first yeah frames for the head i i kind of force you to widen your perspective and see also things that in the beginning um maybe you didn't see yeah now i have to see okay how how, how to make this with the foot so you have a lot to learn about your foot then you you will suddenly experience wow now i activate the foot it feels so much more tense suddenly it's it's for sure it's wrong right if it's so tense, but maybe it's also just because I'm unable to, yeah, to do a certain thing that is now asked for while releasing. And on this way of um, going through these challenges, you will widen your perspective, you will widen your awareness of the body um, and learn a lot about yourself. Yeah. So um, the one thing maybe it feels in the beginning nicer, but it will always keep you in a certain kind of frame and comfort zone while the other maybe feels in the beginning uncomfortable or not natural for you but will bring things into you will will allow you invite you to new realities of yourself that you didn't saw maybe before yeah and this is uh, why we do that kind of work also and also why i say maybe in the end or in the end i will tell you also again let go of it yeah it's not so important but for now it's very important for us um, and there's also an example I really like to, to use there. It's a bit from the samurais. Yeah? Um, you have these stories about the, the huge uh, masters and the uh, samurai masters, sword fighters that can, with a very short motion, boom, end the fight. Yeah? The opponent, the young, young guy is running ah! with the sword, screaming, and the master is like, boom. so why are you screaming? So why I'm not directly do just boom, yeah? But still the master tells the student, no, run, run for 20 years screaming to your opponent, because I also did this. Yeah. And on the way of screaming, yeah, on the way of letting everything out, you learn a lot of things about yourself and you refine yourself. But it's a trap to think I do just I copy just the master and basically, yeah, like fake this, yeah, trying to shortcut the way. But you have to be willing to go through the sc sc screaming, through the hardship, yeah? and also you know in the steps, this kind of difficulty that I give you, in order to really know what am I, what is my movement, what is really relaxedness, what is really letting go. If I just stay in my frame and think, ah, I already let go everything, maybe I didn't see 200 different things in my body that I didn't let go yet. And I just don't feel them because I didn't went through them or I didn't challenge them. Okay, so this is a very common process in our training, also with the forms. The 36 form is very soft in the beginning. Then we go into um, the Xiaoyao Zhang. Yeah, next season we will also go into the Xiaoyao Zhang with the Taiji people together. There, yeah, oh, suddenly you have to express a lot and, and move fast, move slow, move uh, like all the five animals. And then you could think, yeah, but actually it was much nicer in the 36 because. This is much more how I like to move. Yeah. Okay, of course you can stay there, but the, the, the shower jung will help you to widen your range of understanding what you are, yeah, what, what is in you, because you have all the five colors in you, if you want or not. If you want to see them or not, you have, in our belief, 
everything in you. Maybe you like to express one thing more than the other, but we learn in our practice to bring out everything, to experience everything of us, just for the sake in the last form, the 64, to come back to the kind of training we did in the 36. Yeah, the 64 is the same kind of softness, but the one that went through the years of practice and expressing and um, showing itself will be able to express another kind of emptiness and wu wei than the, the, the person that maybe looks for it in the 36 in the beginning, the softness and quietness. The quietness of the one that went through all the screaming will be a very different one, um, will be a, a quietness that knows about, about the whole universe, while the other is a quietness that stayed quiet because it never started talking or never started looking for the universe. 